We are on the rooftop of Constitutional Hill where Kaya Maloney, the owner of Afrileap, is doing pioneering work in growing hops hydroponically in the heart of Joburg. Uh, so specifically hops are, the, I'd say, the main ingredient in beer. Uh, they give it aroma and the bitterness that you're accustomed to. Those are two categories that hops fall into. There's the aroma hops and the bittering hops. Um, I chose hops because when I found out about the hop system, uh, I'd only ever heard it from the Kosselaga ad that says the kiss of the, no, is it Hansa? Hansa. Hansa? Hansa, the kiss of the SARS hop, but I'd never seen an actual hop before. Uh, when I got to doing the research of the hops, I learned that uh, hops are such a magnificent crop in, in, in and of themselves. But in the country, there's only 402 hop yards, uh, 402 hectares of hop yards in, in the country, and all hop growers supply to, to one uh, major conglomerate. Uh, and I didn't think that said right with me for people that were craft brewers, people that had passion for beer. Where were they getting their, their hops from? Because you had this one big major conglomerate just controlling the whole uh, uh, ecosystem. So that's the reason I, I, I came up with the concept of a four season hop yard to, to actually supply, the, to be, be the shortfall, to be the local guy, to be the guy that cuts the distance, that determines his own prices and the own market for, for hop growing, uh, to grow green, fresh hop locally, sustainably, in a more eco-friendly way. You know. Um, so it's, it's very advantageous uh, to, to grow hydroponically, uh, but there's nothing that beats a scale on land. Uh, so with that in mind, I've also approached a couple of uh, state-owned entities to, 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 to inquire about a piece of land uh, out in George. And at the moment, I'm in the process of actually scaling the business towards George on, on a bigger farmyard. Uh, uh, somewhere in the region of uh, 10 to, to, to 40 hectares, uh, but there's also been given opportunities to scale even bigger than that. So, so the, 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 the idea of hop growing hydroponically can also be done on, on big pieces of land uh, to, to scale for export, and, and this is a commercial pilot, I would say, uh, to, to, to be able to achieve those things on bigger land, to prove that I can actually do those things on on bigger pieces of land and more hectares and actually compete and be a sustainable, profitable business. I think the biggest advantage to hydroponics is you can actually grow uh, any climate and manipulate the plants in any way that you want for it to be convinced that it's actually in, the, in its natural habitat where it would like to be grown. Um, so, so that's with hops uh, as a context, our hops grow in the Southern Cape of George and they, they harvest in the 12 month cycle. But with shaded curtains all around uh, my farm, I can manipulate the light when it's flowering to trick it into thinking that days are shorter or use lights to actually convince it that days are longer. So that's the greatest advantage of agriculture. I use the bags and extractors and the CO2 extractors uh, to keep the, the, the temperature between 9 and, and, and 11 and that's the adequate temperature that hops like which is similar to the uh, temperature and climate in George. So I manipulate uh, hydroponics and aquaponics are techniques to manipulate the plant into thinking that this is where it is, where it should be and it should grow faster. Yeah. Oh. Now we just met with Kaya Maloney, the owner of Afili. He's doing amazing work, especially growing hops hydroponically in the heart of Joburg. What makes this very significant is that hops are very geographically specific, but he is growing them right here in the heart of Joburg through hydroponics. Tiko Mulobye, Eyewitness News, Joburg.